Hey everyone, I'm Lou and you're watching Live Free and DIY. In my last project video, I showed you how I made a really simple carpenter bee trap. As I had said previously, that project was inspired by the Southern Ginger's video on carpenter bee traps. And I had the idea of making one out of one piece of 4x4 to see how well it worked. I haven't caught any carpenter bees with any of my traps yet but I'm not sure if I'm hanging them in the right spots. And I've read online that sometimes you need to add some bait for them to be attracted to. But it's been rainy for the past week and we've only had a couple of good days and I haven't seen as many carpenter bees out that I was seeing beforehand. So I'm hoping that in the next week or two I'll be able to know for sure if these tra traps actually work the way they're supposed to. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but I was having a really hard time using the Forstner bits that I have on the wood that I was using. And I could actually see smoke rising when I was drilling and even some burn marks on the wood on the inside. The wood that I was using is pressure treated lumber and it's been out in the elements and well seasoned for years. So I don't know if that contributes to the Forstner bits not working as well as I expected or if it's the Forstner bits. I looked online and the ones I bought are these Porter Cable. It's a set you can get on Amazon for $50. And it has a high rating with a lot of good reviews and that's why I bought them. But there are also some negative reviews that said that the blades were dull on them. I don't feel, they don't feel like they're dull to me, so I'm not sure if that was the problem. But it was something that I was contending with. I've used them before on just regular pine and they've worked great so I don't know if it's the blades or the wood or just a combination of both because they're not the highest quality Forstner bits but I would think that they would do a better job than what they did. So this weekend is the Atlanta Woodworking Fair. I don't remember what it's called but I'm gonna be going on either Saturday or Sunday. I haven't totally decided. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Saturday. And a bunch of video woodworkers from YouTube uh, have a booth set up there. I'm really excited to go there and meet them. I'm going to bring some stickers and hand them out to anybody who wants them. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to meeting a bunch of people that I've been watching on YouTube for a long time. So I heard this week that Instagram is going to be increasing their video limit from 15 seconds to a full 60 seconds. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I've been posting my project videos on Instagram and I've been cutting them down to 15 seconds to just show a basic idea of what my project is. And I think it's kind of fun to try and show people a project in 15 seconds. But going up to a minute it just seems like it's too long. You may as well just watch the YouTube video which is usually only 5 to 10 maybe 15 minutes. And that reminds me if you're on Instagram, then follow me on Instagram. You can get a lot more updates on Instagram, and I'm more active on Instagram than I am on Facebook or Twitter. In fact, I usually only post to Facebook and Twitter through my website or through Instagram. So check me out on Instagram. I do post occasional pictures that are unrelated to projects. Like I think the last one I posted was a picture of my cat in this tool bag when I was looking for some glue. So I finished Daredevil and I thought it was really awesome and I think you should check it out. I haven't really replaced it with anything. I did start watching a show on Netflix called Salvage Dogs which is about a company that goes and salvages stuff from your house that you're getting rid of or the house that you're about to de demolish or something like that. It's just something I've been watching casually, I guess you could say. Well, I think that's about it for this video. I hope to meet you in Atlanta this weekend, but if I don't, I hope you have a great weekend anyway. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or again, check me out on Instagram or Twitter and Facebook or email me from my website and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again, and if I don't see you in Atlanta, then I'll see you next week. Bye. I have to start that all over.